and I'm really sorry if you are experiencing any uh, stream buffering. We are trying to get those issues sorted out. To just to bring you guys up to speed, Bob the Minion is Vicky and he's playing the finals against uh, Krish, who's going under the name code name Seven. Let's have Paladin, Priest and Hunter. While well, Krish's decks are Warrior, Hunter and Mage. That's a nice holy novel from Vicky. Clearing the board and going back to 28 health. This might prove troublesome for uh, for the priest as I did not remember seeing uh, Shadow of Death. But maybe he got it since I changed. And yes, he did. The damned stand ready. Fish manages to get 4 coins out of that one Thorisan. Let's see how he responds to this. And as expected, he just thinks. He drops Dr. Balanced. Big lotter. Wow, what is this guy gonna do? Trade and drop Ragnaros? for damage. <laughs> so so Krish has a very yeah. imposing looking board let's see how Vicky responds to that I guess Vicky is just trying to flood the board with as many minions as possible. <laughs> trying to avoid damage to the face. And sorry, that is my phone. Putting it on silent now. <laughs> that has got to be the most unfortunate unstable portal ever. <laughs> Getting a wisp out of it. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, may maybe right before killing him. Oh, he did drop the wisp. Game 1 goes to Krish with a Ragnaros to the face. And 
since we're waiting for the next game to start, let me go ahead and thank uh, everyone at Lord Nod, Gautam, Anup, for, uh, make, for making this tournament and uh, letting me use their stream. This is quite fun actually. And we are back with Vicky choosing his pallet deck to counter his mage. Just a little background on these players. Krishan managed to beat everybody in the loser bracket to go up to the finals. While Vicky has been on a winning streak. He actually beat, beat me in the first round. <laughs> a little resentful of that. Uh, he managed to beat uh, Krishan already in the second round. And then he beat uh, the chosen one who actually beat GC Turk. If you guys know a little bit of, about GC Turk, he he's a, he's a rather big name I guess. Uh, if you've seen him play on Saturday, that uh, pr uh, profit valid by dust for 10 damage was just amazing. Reporting for duty. Okay, so now they're playing in the finals. And we'll see how the game goes. Chris just thinking whether to use an unstable portal or ping one of the dudes out. I wonder. I think I would ping one of the dudes in this situation, but I guess that's why I lost in the first round. But we'll see, we'll see. You know it's so long that I wish I had a pro caster. Oh, that's a nice legendary from the Unstable Portal. I guess he's going to have a very easy time clearing stuff with it. If it survives, of course. But time will tell, I guess. Reporting for duty. Four dudes on the table for the Paladin. The Quartermaster here would be very, very devastating. Say it pops out of the planeted strider, but it's only going to be taking off one dude. I guess this is a nice time to drop the four reaper. Yep, safety restrictions on the harvesting servos engaged. I have no time for games. Well, well, well. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? I'll show them. I'll show them all. Okay. Is a Sylvanas goes to face. With the four input and the ping. Reporting for duty. Let's see. Ooh, flame strike. That might be a little risky, I guess. What's he going to do? I serve the okay. Lord. 
Uh -huh. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Face damage. Oh no, now the light does not discriminate. Yeah. And the paladin steals the forty foot. How did you do that? Another mirror entity. Okay. I guess this is a pretty good boat to flame strike. These guys' decks are pretty neat. Thinks the face. Yep. Keeper on this. I mean, this guy must have uh, better minions, right? Oh, better than a mad scientist, at least. Reporting for duty. Okay, that's a good thing that. The maze doesn't have any more secrets. I think the maze is in real trouble this time. Vicky will have to pull. Vicky is in a pretty stable position while well, Krish has to pull something out of it to win this game. Has to keep clearing the boats. That's a good flame cannon. Red alert. That belongs in a museum. Reporting for duty. He started to put some real pressure on the board with a lot of face damage. Mage is running out of health. Yeah. How does he not have any more secrets? Doesn't he have ice block or something? He really does need ice block or at least ice barrier to survive this game. Until he gets a winning hand. I don't know, I'm pretty sure uh, Mickey aka Bob has this game in the bag. He's a 28 health with a good board. More cards in hand. Let me think.
me think. Put your faith in the light. Oh, that's a Tyrion. I must move quickly. He has little on board for the next round. Let's see if if Krishant can do anything to get out of the situation. Sudoku. Well played. Krishan being honorable, let's uh, Vicky have the killing blow. Oh, a no BM from uh, from Vicky. Just a straight ass finger to the face. Okay. That puts the score at 1-1 one, one. with the mage and priest out of the situation. Krishant has warrior and hunter remaining while uh, Vicky is going to keep playing with his paladin I guess. So I do not know what kind of warrior or hunter uh, Krishant, Krishant's decks are but let's see. And if I were me, I would choose the warrior looking at his pallet deck. <laughs> I, I hope it's a grim pattern warrior. Third match underway. Krishan talking to choose the hunter over the warrior to go against uh, his quite aggressive pally. Job done. Things are quite thin. Though I wonder how well uh, Face Hunter would do against uh, Paladin, especially with the stunts, the tokens. his hand and now he costs three three mana for a one one web spinner gives 
is a hundred creeper. Creeper goes to the face. The paladin has a has many cards though. Tell you what. Reporting for duty. quite good for the hunter right now but the pally can and all this will come back looking at his nine cards in his hand reporting for duty four tools on the board now So you wanna do explore book that? Yep. Face with the savannah hanging I guess. Though now a quarter master would be very devastating again. If he has one in his hand it's it's almost going to be game over for the hunter. Reporting for duty. Five wounds. Okay, that's pretty intimidating. And he chooses to clear the Savannah Hymen. I don't know, I would have just wanted to face. Because that's. Quite a bit of damage loss. I see. No, don't do that, don't do that. Why would you do that? Job done. Why would you freezing trap? Send the quartermaster back just to buff up more one dudes. Well, mm. the Pali is quite low in health. Put your do. faith in the light. Tyrion. Put your faith in the light. Kill command, kill command, ping. That would put him at 2 health. And if he doesn't have lay on hands, he would be dead next turn. But if he does have lay on command, uh, sorry, lay, of, lay on hands, the hunter's in some serious trouble. Not that he isn't in trouble right now.
he gets a beast that costs two or less. Okay, I think it's in the bag for the paladin now. Vicky's got this game and he's up, he's going to be up to one. Pretty sure there's nothing Krishant can do to win this game at this point. Yeah, that's not going to help much. I don't think so. So GG from Well played. Christian Tigers. Okay, and he's letting uh, he's letting Vicky get the killing blow. Reporting for duty. Two arms, men! <laughs> Last deck from Krish, he's playing the warrior against uh, Ricky Spally who just destroyed two of his own decks. Quite a good starting hand for the warrior. Getting both executes early and the weapons is quite a good thing. We're going to stay with uh, Krish's uh, hand because we already know wh what's in Vicky's uh, alley deck. Looks like your, I don't know, patron warrior deck, I guess. Though he hasn't gotten any of his combo parts yet. Reporting for duty. the slow opener Quartermaster dudes from the Paladin. Krish has quite an imposing board right now. But can he. Uh, the warrior can't clear this board. But he can get 
which is always quite good. No mission entered, draws a card. Executes the party master. Although in my opinion he should have executed one of the dudes because he can always put down another quartermaster, make them more scarier than they already are. and both starts putting on the pressure on the warrior. Krish is on his last deck, needs to pull something out of the air to win this, uh, to tie the current position up. To me. Uh, is he going to do two whirlwinds to clear the board? Unfortunately, he doesn't have any part of his combo yet. Here's one of the dudes up. He should have tried to get at least two draws out of the athlete of pain. Sand is quite weak right now. Let me think. Just checking again, you guys can hear me, right? I see you. Mm -hmm. I'm made to fit. The pal is opted to just drop a lot of players one of the two drops Against the warrior has to raise. Gains two armor clears the paladin's board. But still no sight of his combo cards. I wonder how long he can hold on <laughs> until Tyrion drops. That's quite a bit of pressure that's going to be dropped down the warrior. Well, he is under pressure now, but think. if he doesn't get his combo card soon, he's going to be in real trouble. Uh, 
one part of his combo is up. I guess he is going to have what five patrons on the board now. Can he make space for uh, one more? No harm in trying. I think he's trying to clear the board. Yeah, he is going to clear the board. Execute. I guess he only wants to use one more man. That's a lot of armor. Four Grim Patrons on the board. Yeah. He decides to save it. There are only two Grim Patrons. What's he going to do? Is he going to consecrate? Ah, that's quite unfortunate. He might want to clear the Grim Patron with full health. Follow the rules. Decides to play it safe, bring its damage down and then clear it. Yeah, smart move I guess. The warrior does not have huge uh, huge weapons, no fatties. Second Grim Patron. Let the pain speak to me. Let's three more armor, draws a card. Draws another card. Everyone, get in here. Uh, that's so sad. He'll now have to rely on his frothing buzzers. I hope uh, I hope Vicky realizes that he's just a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit Okay, that's a good card. Let me think. Back from the jungle. Quality concept. Oh, he doesn't have a consecrate. That's strange. 
if he doesn't clear it right now, he's going to be in huge trouble. Kelthasar is going to solve all his problems. Oh no. If he doesn't clear this board soon, that's going to be a big problem. And just like that, the warrior has turned this game around and now the pally is in big trouble. Wonder what... And, uh, other than a concentrate, I failed to see what the pally can do right now. Does that help? That's yeah, GG, I guess. Krishan manages to pull the whip out of his ass. Knocking the pally out of commission for the uh, key. Okay, then now, score this. now the score is tied 2-2. Two -two. The, deck, the deck's remaining. Krishan is going to play his warrior while Vicky is going to play his hunter, I guess. Hey guys, welcome back. Time to start the final match. We'll be watching this game from uh, Vicky's point of view since that's the new deck. Looks like a face hunter. Face hunter versus Grim Patron Warrior. Let's see which one has more cancer. Okay, that's that's quite a strong starting hand from the warrior. Sorry, the hunter. Let's just hope the warrior has better luck than last game in drawing his cards. So once again, guys, guys, this is the final match of the final matchup. Whoever wins this wins the tournament. Glaive Zuka and hit. Okay. Yep. That's what he's going to do. creepers on the board. I do not know if that's such a good idea. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We'll soon find out. Cross two cards with Battle Ridge. So this Harrison is Back going to gain to a lot of value this game, I guess. Let's see how good his juggles are. And he gets it on the first try. 
You know, I never have this kind of luck when I'm playing Hearthstone. When I want a juggle to hit a minion, it hits the face. with his last battle range. With each draw he gets ever closer to his combo. While the hunter doesn't have quite a good hand. Can't play anything. Has to save the owl or something. But is he really risking it? Okay, he does decide to give the warrior the mana crystal. I don't know, I don't think that's the, that was such a good idea. Blood and plunder. Charge forward. Yep, and he decides to take full advantage of it. going to deal with this now. Clear the dead corsair, go for 4 more damage to the face, but then you'll be losing three, uh, the wolf rider. Mm -hmm. Harrison? Is he sure? That belongs in a museum. He should be using it to clear it. Yeah. And what's he going to do? He knows the face center won't work a bigger cut than this and uh, uh -huh. that. to get two green patterns on the board, maybe four with another whirlwind. Should use a wolf rider to clear one of the patrons, maybe. It's the silence now or something kind of. Face, face or grim patron? Face, face. That's that's it. That's intimidating. That's quite intimidating. Everyone, get in here! Everyone, the hunter is going to lose a lot of health now. This quite possibly be the game turning move. Really bad question. I, yeah, I think that's GG. That's GG. There, there's not much he can do with the cards in his hand. Yeah, that, yep, that's GG. Mm. 
is he going to kill him and his own face sudoku go out the honorable way He has to see it coming. Or is he trying to go out the most flashiest way possible? Which doesn't look very flashy right now. Thank you for watching. <laughs> that BM. <laughs> that same bite and BM. Krish wins the series 3 to 2 with his warrior. Thank you guys for watching.